I'm going to cover the topic of how to tune in the digital terrestrial iris channels um, onto um, the Arriva uh, 120. So uh, the first thing to make sure at the back of the box here is to make sure that you have the aerial, the UHF aerial connected to the antenna in port here, which is just here with my fingers on it. Okay. So having done that, what I'll do is I simply come along and I press the menu button and I'll come over as far as the installation menu. I press OK and I'll come down then to the terrestrial section and I have a couple of choices here. I can do terrestrial automatic scan, uh, manual scan or aerial adjustment but anyway it's the automatic scan here is what we'll probably do. If you knew the specific frequency and for certain what aerial you're going to be using or what frequency is you can save some time by doing the terrestrial manual scan here. But what I'll do at this point here is I'm just going to come along and press the OK button here. Uh, I'll set the country to uh, Ireland which I've done there now, and free to air only, well it doesn't really matter, I'll just leave it at free to air I suppose only, um, I'll put it to yes, and then I'll come along and I'll do a search, uh, and that's it. it this will be relatively quick here, and there is a progress bar on this, so we can see as it's working the way across. You'll have to forgive me here, because it's just a little bit of rain as we're making this video, but anyway. Um, so anyway, what, what will happen here is, um, with most, um, the, the the digital terrestrial signal, the serif signal in Ireland is so strong that you have a situation where um, you might be able to pick up signal from a number of different transmitters. So uh, right now we can see here it's 666. Um, so that's actually, I think from recollection, that's Mount Leinster. And the other one that's an option around here would probably be something like the Pure. Uh, now the other thing to be aware of as well is that a lot of the transmitters are now using two different MUXs. So you'll have the one transmitter and this is really getting ready for future channels. Um, so you'll see things here like the future services are listed here and that's sort of a test mode um, in terms of getting ready for when there's going to be a lot more uh, channels hopefully in years to come on the digital terrestrial system. So we can just exit out from there all the way out and uh, we'll just go here and we can see here uh, at the end of all the satellite channels I've added on the following channels here. Okay. So um, now one thing you're going to notice straight away here is that uh, we've RT1 and 2, uh, TV3, TG Cahar, uh, whatever, okay? But also we'll say there's a repeat of certain channels. And what's happened here is it's actually picked up a lot of the channels on two different transmitters. And with some boxes, what it'll do at that point is it'll actually make a judgment call on which is the stronger signal and delete the unwanted channels or uh, the, the, the channels from the weaker transmitter. Now it's no big issue, you can come along here and you can delete off certain of these ones. The only problem is it's just a little bit harder for you to decide which is the ones you should delete. But normally we'll say you can just move certain channels to the top of the list and have to work well, that'll be sufficient for you. So if we just come along here and just select here now, uh, we can just flick over to the RT uh, news channel there and I'll just hit the exit button now. So the next thing that we'll cover in the next video is just how to sort and arrange the channels because obviously having the Irish channels at the end of the list won't be ideal. But you can see itself, uh, the picture quality of these are absolutely fantastic. It's a relatively straightforward process and a few little quirks and, um, and comparisons that have with other boxes are fairly minor ones.